In this podcast, we are going to get to know the state of Ceará, one of nine relatively small states that makes up Brazil's northeast zone. The northeast zone has dramatic landscapes inland, but this podcast focuses on Ceará's beautiful coastline. Ceará covers 56,500 square miles, about half the size of Nevada, or for those of you with an East Coast reference, that's a little larger than the state of Georgia by some 2,000 square miles. When speaking about the coast of Ceará, one first has to mention the city of Fortaleza. Fortaleza is the point of departure for many impressive beaches, unlike any you've ever seen, with the whitest sand in the world. There's Kumbuku, the beach with the least bends and curves, where you can rent horses or dune buggies to explore the length of the coast. Kenoa Quebrada, with its signature massive sand figures. And Icaraí, famous for its grand pure white sand dunes, just to name a few. Fortaleza is a beautiful city dating back to the 1600s when the Dutch occupied it. The Portuguese added it to Brazil in 1654. It isn't a new city with planned infrastructure counting for its tree-lined streets and turquoise blue water, but a testament to the quality of life possible through sustainable use of resources. I took this footage standing on this very pier when I lived in Icaraí two years ago. I was amazed by the color and clarity of the water. The choppiness is caused by the strong uninterrupted winds that blow through Sierra year-round. Fortaleza is a great city to live or to visit because of the balance between the old and the new, characteristic of all great cities. Modernity is embraced, evidenced by the sleek high-rise condos along Fortaleza's oceanfront, while fishermen continue to work in jangadas, under sail power by the constant trade winds. There are two modern malls of chrome, marble, and glass selling merchandise found along Rodeo Drive or Fifth Avenue at the same time that traditional handicrafts flourish, sold through typical freestanding stores like this. The world also knows about the favorable climate and quality of life along Sierra's coast. The continental divide explains Sierra's dry, windy climate. You can see where it fits snugly into West Africa. The temperature dips down to 75 degrees, reaching year-round highs in the low 90s, September and October. The absence of humidity makes even the hottest weather comfortable, and yet there is rain enough to supply water. This is the beach in front of my house in Icaraí. It's almost seven o'clock on the evening of January 5th here. The deep blue of the evening sky is starting to deepen the aquamarine blue of the ocean and color the white sand. My dogs and I are going down the steep dunes for our nightly coastline walk. There's an expansive vibe you get living in a place where there is nothing in front of your house except the sand, the ocean, and eventually Africa. It's very liberating and at the same time very peaceful. The monthly rent for this house is 400 reais per month. Two years ago, that was about $172. With the drop in value the dollar has taken, today it costs $200. Brazil as a country doesn't have any natural disasters like earthquakes or hurricanes or tornadoes, explaining in part the quality and care put into a home, even these mere beach homes. All woodwork is hand carved, as you see on the doors. Artisans will devote attention and care when they know their work isn't going to be washed or blown away. Putting down marble floors throughout the house isn't an extravagance either. Marble actually is practical in many ways. It stays cool to the touch, providing a natural, long lasting thermo cooling device for all residents within. In contrast to the American practice of laying down wall-to-wall -wall carpet to cover up inexpensive flooring, marble promotes the highest degree of cleanliness and housekeeping without chemicals or much effort. A broom is all you need for daily sand sweep and once a week all the floors are washed with the assistance of a very large squeegee, be it the beach house or the principal residence. Once you visit Sierra's coast, you'll want a piece of paradise to call your own, whether for retirement or a vacation home. A two-bedroom, two-bath condo, never mind a freestanding house, 
near the beach in California. Million dollars. Yeah. Close. The Brazilian equal close to sells under fifty thousand. Two years ago, the real estate agent from whom I rented this two-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath house with pool, fruit trees, and vegetable garden and basketball court offered the property to me for thirty thousand, with financing up to thirty years. It is possible to pay off a property in five years since the majority of the payment goes to the principal, not to the interest. The prices on the internet are extremely inflated. The best value is achieved through personal contact. So visit Sierra's coastline. For what it costs you to stay in a single night in a hotel in any American city, you and your family can stay several weeks in a freestanding house right on the ocean. And don't hesitate to contact the Amazon Institute for any further information. Ciao, até logo. Bye, see you soon. From the Amazon Institute.